So we're crossing the river from Grand Island, New York, into Niagara Falls right now. There's a beautiful sunset. Kind of hard to see. Tiffany's driving. Uh, so it is about 8.30 on Saturday, and we're going to check out Niagara Falls in the evening because it's supposed to be all illuminated. Illuminated. We just went on some like offshoot road trying to go to Niagara Falls so that my wonderful wife could stop at a neighborhood library. Do you like to explain this anymore? Where where did you come about this? Littlefreelibrary.org? You because you're you. Mom. This is stuff I don't understand. You have to explain yourself. What just happened? I have like eight books that I've already read that I want to exchange to get other free books. So there's little free libraries all over the United States. So I just went online, looked at the log. There was yeah, they one. Yeah, called a cycle. It's a cycle. <laughs> there's all these little Can neighborhood I tell you the steps. First, you get a book. Second, you search a little free library. You go to that library. You put in a book. You get a book. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Exactly. Can we stop by on the way down? Niagara Falls in the evening. Just rode our bikes from the Niagara State Falls Park. We're on Goat Island and we're doing Cave of the Winds tour. Enjoy. Thank you. Did we get ponchos? <laughs> Got it. Okay. No ponchos? You want a poncho? I think it's pretty warm. It's going to be a good deluge. What do you guys think? You going poncho or no poncho? Poncho. Uh, everybody's going poncho. I think I'm going to be rebellious and not do a poncho. Oh my gosh, you're going to be so wet. Everybody else is doing a poncho on this walk down to the falls. I didn't take a shower this morning, so I'm, I'm going to say that I'm not going to take a poncho and see how wet I get. It's pretty warm out today, it's at least in the 70s. I'm just saying there's hoods for ponchos, there's hoods. In the elevator, we're taking a 30 second ride down to... And somewhere. Cave of the wind. We have to wear ponchos. He's not going to. He is. Hello. Hello. There's a nice and dry down here. Just walk your steps, please. Be careful not to slip. It's so strong. It's a little cold down here. No, it's so dry down here. It's all wet. It's so dry down here. You step out of the elevator and it's immediately like 20 degrees cooler. Get your ponchos. Dad, you are wearing one. No, I'm going to brave it. Uh, you're wearing one. No, I'm going to brave it. They don't work anyway. Yeah. See, he says they don't work. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to get a little wet. It's warm outside. Wow, look at all the seagulls. 
We don't see the seagulls up top. I wonder if they're nesting. What was that, Talon? Oh, that's beautiful, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Here we are walking down. I'm braving it. No poncho. Some lady already yeah, said. Some lady already said he's gonna need a poncho. Everybody's coming up wet anyhow. So it's gonna be a little bit wet today. Stairs. Well, Tiffany's getting serious, putting her hair up. I guess it rains 365 days a year here. over the deck that you walk up. The top patio is called the hurricane deck because the wind blows so much in the mist. And then we learned an interesting fact from one of the workers that they actually have to tear down and rebuild the staircase every year because the, the snow piled up and the ice filled up in the winter time uh, will just destroy the deck that we're on. So that was fun. What'd you think? Uh, definitely worth doing, I wasn't sure because it cost our family like 70 bucks, but it was super worth it. It was a lot of fun. Riding our bikes. There's two falls, the American Falls, which we were just at, and then this is Horseshoe Falls. Sunday morning we're in Grand Island New York and we've been on the road for I think it's been 10 weeks gone about 9,000 miles I decided to wash the truck this morning figured it was time been time for a while but went ahead and got her done one of the self-wash places so looking a little little bit better now even though we got Wonderful outside looks better. Timber's a great little dog. He's got white hair and he sheds everywhere. So the back of the truck, I'll have to show you in a second. It's just like it looks like a freaking white hair bomb went off back there, plus the two kids. So it's just crazy. Alright, so here's here's the back of the truck. It's just a Timber hair bomb. I don't know. For some, it may not be that bad. For me, he's used to keeping the car clean. You know, the last dog was black. Her hair blended in. With all the black floors here. Timber's just really... It's just a 
Hair nightmare. Hey, Bards. Always get the original. <laughs> well, what flavor was it, Abby? Butterscotch? Butterscotch. Mm. How is it? Yummy and humongous. Frozen custard. <laughs> Mall attack. Well, We're see. at uh, Hibbard's original frozen custard. Which I was the last one to get it, and I'm about the first one to finish. Yeah. But it's good. How would you describe it here on its its taste or difference from ice cream? So it's creamier and soft. And yummier. <laughs> Talon says it's yummier. I think it's creamier and more of the roasted flavor. Like a softer ice cream. Definitely texture-wise, it's like fluffier. Than ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream can be kind of hard packed, and this seems a little softer. Melts faster. Smoother. Smoother. So, thumbs up for frozen custard. What are you two doing? about where we are and how we're going, where we're going. We are leaving KOA and we are headed to a thousand trails in Ohio. So we're off to our next stop. Yep. And uh, that one is near Cleveland. So onward and upward, or onward and westward. We're headed like officially, well, we had to go a little bit west to get here, but we're like officially on the way back home. We so are. We're, we're, headed, we're headed west. <laughs> 